Hi there grade nines and welcome again to Worksheet Cloud Maths. Um, my name is Joe Milligan and I'm going to go through the construction of geometric figures lesson two. Right, I just want to go over quickly again of what we did um, yesterday so that we can go on to today's work because we are going to draw on what we did yesterday. And remember yesterday we had fun bisecting angles using our um, compass um, and there were very specific things that we had to do with that compass and we had to make sure that the point was on certain places and then we had to draw arcs and match up the arcs and um, we were able to then bisect angles. So today we're going to use that same format, that, that same approach, and we're going to draw a perpendicular line. So let's see how we do that. First thing we have to do is remember to have our compass. Remember where we go to put the point of the compass. We're going to draw a line, any length line, it doesn't matter, so you can do this with me if you'd like to. Any length line like that. We're going to put a point on the line. Um, you can use your compass point to, to almost like put a little hole in the paper. It makes sure that it doesn't move around. Don't make the hole too big. Just let the point pierce the paper a little bit. We can name that point point A. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw an arc along the line. So we're going to put our point there, the pencil, and draw along there. And we're going to name that point B. Then we're going to do the same on the other side. We're going to draw an arc there. Make sure that the measurement from your A point to point B to that arc, and then from there to that arc, which we're going to call C, that it's the same distance apart. So it would be very uh, wise to actually measure on a ruler the distance between your pencil and the point of the compass, and to place the point there, and then all you can do is just swing it around and put that um, arc in. Right, next step is to then draw an arc up the top here, but what you would do here is put your point of your compass onto B, and then you can make it slightly wider, make your a measurement a little bit wider, and you're going to draw an arc above A. Okay, make the arc bigger. It doesn't have to be as small as mine. It can be a lot bigger than that to make sure that when you do the same thing from C, they actually do cross. So, once you've done that arc, take your compass point again, put it onto point C, making sure that the point of the compass is directly where that arc cuts the line. And you're going to draw another arc. Where these two arcs cut at the top above A, we're going to name that point D. Now you're going to put your compass down, you're going to pick up your ruler, and you're going to draw a line where A meets point D. And if this has been done correctly, this should create a straight line, which means that this is a perpendicular line. Okay? If by some ch chance that your compass point is not directly on B, it's slightly off, then these will still cross, but your line will not be totally straight. Okay? That then, because that's a perpendicular line, it creates a right angle. We are going to do that all again to make sure that you've got it, and let's go through a little bit slower. Okay, there's my line. I've drawn my line with a ruler, made sure it's a straight line. I've then put in a point, and I've named that A. Then I take the point of my compass, and I put it directly on the top of that point, and I make an arc on that side, and I call that Point B. Remember the point B is exactly where the arc crosses the line, where it cuts the line. So I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. I put my compass point back on point A and I draw another arc the same distance away from A as B was and I call that C. To make sure it's the same distance away, what we could do is we could um, divide, or split our compass and do the one side and then just swivel the compass around and then do the other side so that it stays the same distance. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my compass point and I'm going to put it onto B and then I'm going to draw an arc up there like that. Okay, I'm going to do the same on C. Take your compass point, put it on point C exactly where the arc crosses the line and I'm going to make another arc. 
Where those two arcs meet, I'm going to name that point D, so that the point is exactly where those two arcs cross over. And I will draw a line up with my ruler, and that line should be a straight line. Remember, if it's not a straight line, it could mean that actually you are slightly out with where you put your compass point. The arcs will still cross, but it might not create a straight line. Okay, if it is a straight line and they do cross um, perfectly above A, it means that that is a 90 degree angle because that line is perpendicular to that line. Okay, we're now going to draw another triangle. Oh, sorry, we're going to draw a triangle. Um, and all we're going to do is we're going to then take that point, take our ruler, put it on that point, match it up to that point, and there we have a triangle. Because this is a right angle, it is a right angled triangle. So you can see that that is a right angle because that line is perpendicular to that line. So DA is perpendicular to CB, which makes that new triangle that we have created a right angle triangle. And you can see there's the perpendicular line. Okay, everybody got it? I'm sure you have. Right, let's look at the next thing that we're going to draw, which is another type of triangle. Okay, again, we're going to use our compass. We're going to draw a line. We're going to put a point A on the line. And we're going to then measure five centimeters using our ruler. And our compass point needs to be on the zero on the ruler. And the pencil part will go to five centimeter, the five centimeter mark. We then are going to use that to draw an arc. So our point will be there. The pencil will go through the line and make an arc. And where the arc meets the line is point B. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is three centimeters. We're going to measure using our ruler and our compass. And from A up, we are going to draw an arc three centimeters. Okay. And then we're going to go to B. And we're going to measure seven centimeters and we're going to draw the arc from B seven centimeter distance. And at that point, we're going to join A. So we're going to use our ruler and we're going to join A to there. And then we're going to join B to that same point and we will call it C. We have now created a triangle. The triangle sides are all different lengths. So we call that a scaling triangle. Remember, though, it's got to go exactly through where those arcs cross over. Right. Let's have a look at it again. Go over it again, exactly what we did. If you didn't quite keep up the first time, I'm sorry, I talked quite quickly. But maybe you can um, see it now when we go over it again. Right. Let's draw, using our compass, we're going to draw our line. We're going to put point A on it, anywhere on your line, it doesn't matter, and you're going to label it point A. You're going to put the point of the compass on point A, and after measuring the distance of 5 centimeters using your ruler, you're going to draw an arc across the line at point B. Remember, point B is where the arc crosses the line. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to measure... Using your ruler and your compass, you're going to measure off a measurement of three centimeters and you're going to draw an arc above the A, which is probably to the left above the A. Then you're going to draw another, you're going to measure off seven centimeters and draw another arc, this time with your point on point B, the point of the compass on point B, draw the next arc. Where those two arcs cross, you are going to join, first of all, point A. From A, using your ruler, through where the arcs cross. You're then going to do the same thing from point B. Use your ruler and you will see where they cross. Where those arcs cross, we should have originally named it C, but we can name that C now. And now you can see that you have created a triangle with three different measurements for the sides, which means that no side is equal. So it means that no, there are no perpendicular lines. And we call that a scalene triangle. Remember, scalene triangle, 
means that all sides are different lengths, which means that all angles will be different sizes. Okay, let's draw a different triangle this time. We're going to start with our compass again. We're going to again draw a straight line and mark point A on that straight line. Okay, from there, we're going to use our compass to put the compass point on point A right in the middle of point A on the line and we're going to measure five centimeters along and we're going to draw an arc and at that arc we are going to put in point B. Okay, we then are going to measure off four centimeters and somewhere up above here between A and B you are going to draw another arc. So your point of your compass will be on A and you'll draw an arc up there and that will be four centimeters away from A. You're going to do the same thing from B. So it means you'll take your compass point and you'll put it onto B and you will draw an arc up there. And where they cross, that is what we will call C. We're now going to, in a manner of speaking, join the dots. So from point A, we're going to draw a line up to point C. And from point B, a line up to join C. Now we have created a triangle where two sides are equal and the other side is a different length. And that is what we call an isosceles triangle. Okay, you should know that from grade seven, but this is how we construct an isosceles triangle. Let's go over it again. Okay, using our compass, we draw our line. We then are going to use point A, make a mark on point A. We will then use uh, measure five centimeters and draw an arc along the line and we will call that point B. We are then going to use um, four centimeters and draw an arc up from A and another one from B where they cross and that we will call C. All right, we then are going to join the lines from A to C and B to C and each of those are going to be four centimeters long, which means that again, like I said just now, those two lines are equal in length, but they are shorter. They are both shorter than the five centimeters, which makes that an isosceles triangle. Have you got that? I'm sure you have. If you want to go over it again, just rewind the video a little bit and you can go over the explanation again. Right, let's look at the next triangle. This is an equilateral triangle, okay? So equilateral, meaning that all sides are the same length, okay? So we're going to start with our compass again. We're going to draw a line across the bottom of the page. We're going to put in point A, okay? Those things are all given. You can see we did that with every single triangle that we have drawn. We're going to then measure five centimeters, and we're going to cut the line with an arc at point B. Right. Then we're going to still measure five centimeters. So our compass will stay the distance between the point of the compass and the pencil of the compass will stay the same. We're going to then cut an arc above the line, sort of halfway between A and B, but that is where it will naturally go. And then we're going to do the same thing from B. We're going to put the point of the compass on B and we're going to make an arc um, where it cuts the other one. And we're going to call that point C, just as in the other triangles. This time, we're going to, again, um, draw a line with our ruler through the middle of the arc where the two arcs meet from point A and then again from point B. Both of those will be five centimeters long. So you can now see that the triangle has three sides, all the same, they're all five centimeters. So we call it an equilateral triangle. Right, let's do it again. That one I think probably was the easiest of the whole lot. Okay, because our compass just stays the same distance apart. Okay, we're gonna draw the line, put a dot, mark that point A on the line. It doesn't have to be where I've done it. It can be in the middle. It'll just mean that your triangle gets drawn over there. All right. We're then going to measure five centimeters from our ruler, putting the, remember, the point of the compass goes onto the naught on the ruler, 
and the pencil point goes on to the 5. We're going to measure 5 centimeters and point of the compass on A, drawing an arc over here, and name that point B. Right, then we're going to take, uh, we're not going to change the distance at all, we're going to put our point of the compass back onto A, and we're going to draw an arc up here. Right, we're going to do the same thing from B, compass point on B, draw an arc. We're then going to name that point C. So that would be the third point of our triangle. We're then going to take our ruler, so we can put our compass down now. Take our ruler and we're going to join point A to point C with a, using a line. And we're going to do the same from point B to point C. We're going to join it up. And there we have an equilateral triangle because all the sides are 5 centimeters long. Right, and there we've labeled our equilateral triangle. Okay, guys, what we can do now is you can start working on your activity sheet. The activity sheet is all about construction and have fun. And remember, if you don't get it right the first time, it's okay. It probably is one little um, mistake that you've made by not maybe putting your compass points in the right place. But that's okay because you can just rub it out and try all over again. Thank you for joining me for today's lesson and please remember if you have any questions please don't hesitate to actually send an email um, on the email address grade 9 at worksheetcloud.com. Thank you for listening guys and see you again next time.